Gareth Kwok here with Devon Pouncey, and we are excited to have another guest here on the broadcast here on Fox 12 Plus and on ESPN Plus. He is the lead artist of the 2025th Street, Ty Givens. Ty, how's it going? Doing great. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Well, you're, you've created, uh, you've designed the record, the Rip City Remix branded record that is being given away in the second half. Uh, what Drew, what was the inspiration behind creating the the record and, and collaborating with the remix? Um, with, uh, collaborating with the remix, we talked about doing a couple of different months and events. And with Black History Month, one of the things that always stands out to me is um, our hair and how we use that in different ways and how we use that in different ways over centuries. I, I, I want to hear about kind of you, your connection to the arts and, and kind of your origin story a little bit. How was it that you kind of got involved in the artistry leading to what it is and what you're doing today? Um, I grew up in Florida and I used to do a lot of graffiti art. Okay. And I just started doing different mediums and like spray painting on different ideas and stuff. And then I tried some things on records and just ended up cutting them out and basically evolving to what I'm doing now. Definitely. So, so how long does it take for you to come up with this this piece and and to make it all happen how long does it take the design part's the hardest part i mean it takes me you know a week or two to like get a good design in figure it out make it all fit within the record and then once i get going the cutting part's pretty easy now do you are you kind of the visionary or do you have any do you get any feedback from people like what, what goes into a design and making it happen for these fans I mean, most of the designs are commissions, and I kind of just get the feel of what people want, what's going on in the world, and just seeing, you know, I want stuff to be in people's houses that they enjoy and that they like. That. Now, now I'm interested to hear more about kind of the, the hip-hop element to all of this. Obviously, you got vinyl that you're doing this art with. You mentioned that, you know, you did graffiti growing up in Florida, and graffiti is one of the four elements of hip-hop. I know a little something-something now. <laughs> um, just talk about sort of the hip-hop influence when it comes to your art in particular. Uh, a lot of my art comes from like all uh, my experience and how I feel about certain things. So like even this record, um, when I was looking for records that I have, because all the ones that I use are old, recycled, messed up ones, mm -hmm. I found a really good Quincy Jones one. You know, yeah. You know, I wanted to like, represent our artistry in it as well. So it's it's a little bit of mix of like. I want to keep the music alive and I want people to remember even though these records are scratched and messed up, so I try to bring it back to life kind of deal. Almost like a refurbishing yeah. kind of deal. Nice. And an offensive foul on Raptors 905 on Freeman Liberty is again Ty Gibbons, owner of 2025th Street, joining us here on the broadcast who created the custom Black History Month vinyl record that is being raffled off here in this second half. All proceeds will be donated to the Black Parent Initiative. And you were the one that also created the, the custom Pride Night vinyl record uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I'm sure this has been fun for you to kind of put your own creative spin and collaborate with the remix in the inaugural season as well. Yeah, the team has been really helpful. Like they, they gave me like a couple of ideas. They were like, do whatever you do. We know you do a good job and just give us something amazing. And, <laughs> been working on it and like I'll be back on Monday for Women's Empowerment Night as well. That's I can't wait to see it. Yeah. yeah, talk about sort of the connection, being able to bring the art and the music together with sport. There's so many ways that they all intersect, but for you, kind of what does that bring out of you knowing that all right, I'm collaborating with the remix, which is a basketball team, but we're still caught the remix, so obviously there's an artsy element to our brand at large. Yeah. Um, when I'm kind of designing these, I try to make it at least kind of fit in with what's going on, like I said, with uh, the culture and in the world. So when I'm designing the records, I want it to be kind of seamless and seem like, you know, the team, like with the Pride one, for instance, I want it to feel like the team's a part of the city and it's all just like one, you know, one big team. Yeah. Can you give us any... Uh any information or any clues for women's empowerment for next week, or is that is that on the D-Lo a little bit? I think I'm gonna do women in sports. I like it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that's a that's a great inspiration right there. Ty Gibbons from the the owner of 2025th Street joining us. Hey, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to talk, and uh, we love seeing your art here around the Child Center. Thanks yeah. so much for hopping on. Thank you.